Today we're going to do a quick review on this Anchor solar panel. This is quite a neat little solar panel and I originally saw it on uh, Prepared Mind 101's channel. He had a uh, real good review of it so I ended up putting it on my uh, Christmas list and Santa was kind to me. And since it's New Year's Eve we got a few beers going here and uh, had to take the opportunity to uh, be patriotic while I was doing these videos here so I guess I'm kind of Stealing from uh, Smoke and APR and telling you guys to go ahead and get yourself a cold one and let's get on with this review. So this ankle, ank <laughs> yep, you got to slow down on the beer. This Anchor solar panel comes in this uh, nylon bag and it folds open and there are three panels inside. And what makes this thing so interesting and so useful is that it has a USB connector built into it for charging USB devices, which you'll see. In here, there's a little USB and it's got two USB connectors and it comes with a little cable, which is helpful. You don't need the cable, but it is very helpful. So this thing is uh, really useful, number one, because you can charge, you know, normal items like your cell phone. And I did some testing and it's just we have not had a good sunny day here in a while. So I haven't been able to film outside in the sun. But I was able, using, uh, on the video, uh, Prepared My 101, when he did his review, he used this program called Ampere, which lets you measure the amount of amps coming into your phone. And so I was able to check this um, on the few rare minutes of sunshine we did get here. And it was charging my phone at about uh, anywhere from 650 to 800 milliamp hours which is pretty much what I get with a cheap USB connector. Now, if I use one of the nice turbo uh, chargers, I get more, but it's, it's really on par and will charge at about the same speed as plugging it into the wall, which is awesome. Now, the only thing I didn't test was I didn't test two phones at the same time charging because it does have the two ports in here. So I didn't get a chance to test that out yet, but we're not looking like we're going to have uh, sun here in a couple weeks. so. Um, other useful things you can do with this, if you do have a USB compatible charger, this one here charges 18650 batteries. I did test this out, and I test, uh, basically was able to charge an 18650 in about three and a half hours is about what I got. You know, it wasn't run completely down to zero, and it was cloudy for probably a half hour of it. But it took about three and a half hours to charge that battery up, which is pretty good. So if you are using this as a, uh, or something similar, as a little USB charger, you could easily get two 18650s charge a day. Probably even fully if you had a nice sunny day. So that is uh, really nice if you're using those for uh, battery banks or for a radio or maybe even just for flashlights or other things. And lastly, you can use portable power banks. This is a uh, cheapo eBay one. You basically, uh, I don't think I've shown you guys a review on this yet. You open it up and you put four 18650s in there and it works like a uh, USB power bank. It's a really cool thing and uh, being I have quite a collection of uh, 18650s now, this is a very very handy little thing to have and this is something once again I can charge with the solar power. So if the lights are out powers out for an extended period of time, not only can I continue to have phone, but I can continue to have flashlights, I can continue to have, I even have an 18650 radio, and plus you can charge your re rechargeable double A's, those nickel metal hydride batteries, so that you can keep yourself informed and uh, have at least a little entertainment for the time being, and plus, in a long term grid down situation, you would be able to have, you know, flashlights for as long as your rechargeable batteries held out, which is a a bonus because most people would be you know out in a matter of uh, weeks so really cool and the price on this it was like 45 bucks yeah it's a little pricey but in the end you know when you're paying 45 bucks for you know a pretty good quality solar panel that puts out a lot of juice and it works really well I mean this thing I was really surprised how well it works it packs down you could put this into a backpack you could put it in your bug out bag you can carry it around with you. It's pretty small. You can put it under the seat of your car. It's got these metal grommets, so if you want to hang it from a window, you can do that. So 
overall really nice little product for the money and really really super happy with it and I'm gonna keep playing with it and testing it but so far this thing I think is an absolute winner I know there's other compatible and uh, comparable brands out there that are uh, very similar and you know to be honest I haven't tested and played a lot with solar power this is new to me a new little experiment so hopefully this will get my feet wet and I can learn a little bit and we'll move on to uh, bigger and better uh, solar projects down the line so once again guys happy new year and uh, thanks for watching